Well, let's look at five of the essential hardware diagnostics tools for Linux machines. These are tools that I like to use, and I think they're very important. So first of all, they all start with LS. So I type in LS and press tab a few times, and you can see a list of options. And all five of them are listed in here, but I'm going to show you the five I think are the most important. So other ones are really great too, but these ones are the most important. So first is LS CPU. LS CPU gives you information about the processor. So I'll pipe that through less so you can look at it. So first of all, it tells me the architecture. I already know since I installed Linux, but it tells me what modes it can run in. It can run in 32-bit or 64-bit. It also tells me the byte order. Now this is only important if you are doing more programming and that matters. Um, it's more for a CS thing as far as like which which bit's the most significant, which one's the least significant. Don't even worry about it if, you don't, if you're not a programmer. Um, number of CPUs and the list order, the genuine Intel thing. All this is really important stuff. You can also see the speed. It puts it in BOGO MIPS, which is kind of a translation to a MIPS architecture, so you can kind of get an idea. Um, anyway, lots of information here uh, about the processor, and that's really valuable. Next one I like to look at is the LS mod. Now, this one, I'm going to also pipe through less, tells me about kernel modules that are loaded into the system. Now, why is this one important? Well, back in the day, I used to run Gentoo Linux machines. It was a lot of fun. But one of the biggest problems I ran into is I needed to know which kernel modules needed to be built or compiled into the kernel to make it more efficient. And so this can tell you which modules are actually running and which ones are being used by your machine. So you can kind of see these are the different kernel modules being run and information about where they're being used and what they're being used by. Okay. Next one is LS PCI. Now this one's also important when you're trying to troubleshoot and get different hardware supported and get the right kernel modules loaded or whatever you need to do. It used to be that it was a lot harder to get things working, but now it's getting much easier. Now you can run it with just by itself and that's a nice short list. You can see what kind of, well, hardware I have. You can see my VGA controller, my uh, Ethernet controller, and all that stuff right there. Now, if I want to get more information, I can just add an extra V or a V, just minus V, and let's find the through less. And you can see, oh, now it's got a lot more information, including which kernel modules are being used to run different pieces. So you can see things like my VGA card is using this VMWGFX. All right. And my Ethernet controller is using the E1000, which is actually a really common one. I have had that for lots of different machines I've used. But you can get an, get an idea of what's going on here. You can also tell that I'm running this in a virtual box machine. Um, but if that isn't enough information, you can add one more V. So I guess the first one's verbose and the second one is like very verbose. Anyway, this gives you a lot more information, a lot more details. And maybe too much details, but you get an idea. All right. The next one I like to look at is LSHW. LSHW. Let's go ahead and pipe that through less as well for looking at my hardware specifications so you can kind of get an idea. This one, it doesn't get as much if you don't run it as root. So let's go ahead and just do a sudo before that. And there we go. You can see quite a bit of information about the computer. You can see information about the motherboard, capabilities, CPU, um, memory, the processor, uh, all kinds of things. What kind of a PCI thing you've got. Um, great information for troubleshooting and making sure you have the right drivers built in or downloaded, installed, whatever you need in order to make your system run as efficiently as possible. Now, one thing to remember is that not everything you see here is necessarily there. Like you might show up, some hardware might show up that you don't actually have the driver installed for. 
and maybe if you're doing like an NVIDIA driver, it might not be installed there or the one you have isn't the most efficient driver. So just something to think about. The next one I like is LSUSB. Now this was really essential when I was trying to get different USB devices connected and working. You wanna know what is connected. And you can look at that and that's nice. Or you can add a minus V to get a verbose and then pipe that through less to get more information. So you can see information about it. So you can go through this, scroll through this, and find information and troubleshoot it. So there you go. So those five commands were LS CPU, LS mod, LS PCI, LS HW, and LS USB. So those are what I think are five essential hardware diagnostics tools.